What's up, people, man? I'm coming back at y'all. Coming back at y'all live and direct, man. Look, I got the vest on for this video, so y'all know it's a, it's a new video. And I gotta go ahead and knock them out back to back. But in this video, I wanna talk about the stock market, the Ross, and look, y'all gotta start preparing for y'all future, man. You have to start. All right, an older guy talked to me. He was one of my family members. Never met the dude, but he was over my house one day, and my mom was telling him how I drove trucks, too. I had my own truck, and he was like, oh, yeah. He was like, I drove trucks from you know what I'm saying, like 72 or something. I'm like, God damn, this motherfucker. He old, man. But he was still, he was pretty straight. But he was like, he said, man, make sure you uh, you put some money back. Because you ain't going to get a lot of uh, money from your, your uh, what is it? Social Security. He said, you ain't going to get a lot. He said, because you ain't paying into it. Now, I tried to tell one dude that, like, you ain't paying. And he was like, yes, you is. I've been getting my statements. I'm like, dude, you got a statement when you was working a job showing how much you was paying in Social Security. Since you've been an owner operator, you ain't been getting no statements. Yes, sir. I said, well, show it to me then. Show me your statement. Think he ever showed me a statement? Because once you're an owner operator, unless you pay in, because like when you're an owner operator, independent contractor, you got your own business, braiding hair, barber, whatever you do, if you don't have money coming out your check every week, you're not paying into your Social Security understand this so you need to be putting money in a Roth like I got TD Ameritrade I, you can the max you can put in a year that you can get a tax write-off tax credit tax credit for is five thousand five hundred I've been doing that for the last few years y'all need to understand this I know you probably never did it your people ain't never taught you about this but it's something you need to understand because it's helped you save money and it help you make money at the same time it's a double whammy so understand this people just cause your mom didn't teach you about it your daddy didn't teach you about it like, a lot of this stuff is new because the internet. A lot of, long time ago, we had to always trust somebody, give your money to somebody. Now we can do it ourselves, so we don't got to trust nobody. So back in the day, a lot of people didn't get into the stock market because they didn't trust people with their money. So, like, I mean, I still know some old men today that don't even use their they, uh, they bank cards. No credit cards, no nothing, because they don't, they don't trust that. They, they want to see the money in their hand. So we are in a new era now, so understand this, people. Let me show you how this shit work, man. Um, and excuse the language, but I'm just, I'm turned up right now. Um, all right. When you're on the operator, let's say if you make around 60,000. If you don't have a tax guy, get with me. I got a tax dude that can help you out. He helped me say like, well, he didn't help me say, he helped me write off like 30 grand. That's legal. A legal 30 grand with a new truck. The reason why I'm emphasizing new truck because I ain't have a lot of repairs. But he did it the legal way, so I don't got to worry about getting audited, none of that kind of foolishness. If I do get audited, I got the numbers to show them. So they got off my back time. They hit me up. I'm like, here you go, partner. This is what you need. That's what you got. And I'm good. Um, so if y'all need somebody to do y'all taxes, I know, and he only charged 300 I know some people that charge way more than that. And they sticking people. They sticking people. And I know this dude, been knowing this dude for about, shit, about 20 years. And I found out he was doing taxes. I was like, I moved to Florida. And he was, you can stay anywhere. But I moved to Florida and I, I knew he was in Florida. And the person that I used to deal with was having a baby. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to let her be with her baby. And I'm going to go rock with, with uh, Mike. And Mike got me on point. Uh, I mean, I was already pretty good. But now, like, he be making me do shit. I'm like, damn, Mike, I ain't going to do this shit. But I see how it was helping me. I'm like, I don't know what. I'm knowing the shit now, Mike, because I see how it's helping me save money. But uh, like last year, I put 5500 into my Roth. And I couldn't put 5500 in my Roth if I ain't wasn't making money. That's what I'm trying to tell folks. I'm making money over here. But uh, so I put that in my, in my Roth, and I put it on Facebook. All right. At the time, they were saying I was owing like four grand in taxes. Like four thousand and seven hundred, something like that. And um this was after I had already wrote off all the stuff I could write off. And uh he was like, You put something in your raw? I was like, nah. Let me go do that. So I did that and it knocked it down to like thirty five. So me going I it was me going from paying almost forty seven down to thirty five. But you gotta look at it. I put five thousand five hundred into my Roth. Now that Roth is gonna start making money for me. I put I put that on Facebook, right? And in six months, it had jumped 
I had it ended up making like, um, I think it was 1200 off Facebook. So now my money done went from 5500 to, I think, $6,700. I'm like, oh shit. So I done made money. I saved money not paying to the government. I was gonna have to pay 47. I ended up paying 35. Then I made money. So um it's, it's, it's almost like a uh like a three thousand dollar swing. And like I mean, what my uncle said about if you don't have money in your Roth, it's gonna come back and bite you in your ass when you get old. Once you get 65 or 62 and you try to cash out, now you only gonna get a $315 a month or a four twenty a month, that ain't enough money to live off of. And uh, I've been reading up on stuff and watching videos about how your money accrue and all that. So it's like your money start building up. You put keep putting that five in there, and you keep putting your money on good stocks or whatever. And it's it's a lot of less risky stocks, and then it's a, some stocks that are more risky. But I learned about all that kind of stuff. Like you gotta you gotta follow what you know. The stuff that you're interested in, that's what you need to invest in because you know when your product is getting good, when it's getting worse, like the product value is going down. So you kind of know when to pull before the numbers come out because you already see the product is not the same. But, I mean, that's getting a little deep for y'all. But one thing you need to do is start you up a Roth if you are an independent contractor, you're a lease driver, owner-operator, however you want to call it. You need to get you a Roth and you need to start putting your money to the side. Um, 5500 every year, you need to do that. That's almost like $100 a week almost. You know what I'm saying? That's a little bit more than $100 a week. If you're making $2,000 checks and shit, $100 ain't nothing. It ain't nothing if you really look at it. If you really, really look at it. Um. Oh, and the driver's just trying to come on. I just talked to a company driver at the day, and he said for him to get a truck, he's going to have to put down like $5,000. And then he said for him to get a um a new truck, he was gonna have uh, not a new truck, a a, a, a Volvo, because that was to get a freight liner. He said for him to get a Volvo, he was gonna have to put down like seven grand. So I'm like, what the fuck? And he was like, his credit ain't that bad, but it ain't great, but it ain't that bad. So I don't really know what that means. That could be it's fucked up like hell, but I ain't gonna really tell you. Or it could be what he's saying, and like he a company driver. And I done heard some company drivers say it was kind of hard for them to get out of being you know, a company driver to be an owner-operator, a lease driver. So, y'all got to watch that shit, man. And like, I, I told buddy I tried to help him, man. I told him call. I said, call me, man. I'll try to call the person that signed me up, and we'll try to see what we can do. And uh, maybe if I call him, you might can get pushed through because I done got a lot of, a lot of people on. So, I'm like, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, he'll call me. If he don't, he don't. If he do, he do. But, I mean, like, he was showing me what kind of money he make. And like he said, he was average between five and eight. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here, I'm like, bro, if I do five, that's a bad week. If I do eight, that's a bad week. All right, I'm out here, I'm out here, I'm, I'm doing them uh, income tax checks, bro. Like, man, I, I don't want to see you out here struggling if you can be doing better for yourself, man. So uh, he said he going he gonna to call me. We'll see what's up. But uh, so you, if, if you another... Snyder driver or company driver, and you try to get a truck, and they told you you had to pay five um, thousand for a freight liner. Let me know, man. Let me know in the comments, cause I want to know if they just fucking buddy or he fucked up and he ain't telling me the truth. Um, if y'all got any questions, man, let me know. If y'all want to come on over here with Snyder, like I said, I, I take care of people. Um, I actually got two drivers now. Uh, one dude, he's been on for for three months. And the other dude just started like two days ago. Well, not two, two weeks ago. So uh, I got two drivers now. The, the first guy, me and him, we was talking a lot, blah, blah, blah. But now he, he good. He gone. The second dude, he hit me up the other day. He said, man, I think I'm getting a hang of the load board now. And I was like, all right, man. I said, it's going to keep changing. So don't think you're going to always run the same thing. I said, you might get lucky, but the load board changes. So be prepared to do different stuff. I said, but if you keep moving you will be okay. If you keep moving, you will keep money coming into your account. And um, so, as of right now, he happy. We're going to see what, what what happens with that. I'm going to try to keep tabs on him. The other dude, he done took off. He gone. Yeah, he don't know how to call me ever no more. Like, he he got his stuff together. And both of them from Georgia. So, that's cool. I would, like, get my Georgia boys on. You know, the Georgia boy. Uh, uh, man, that's about it, man. 
Make sure you get your Roth stuff set up. If you need a tax person, hit me up. If you want to talk about the Roth stuff and you, you are afraid of it and you want me to talk to you about it, hit me up. I'll tell you about it. And look, I don't make no money off that. I'm just, I am need to let people know how you can make money off this. Oh, yeah, Snyder is up. Snyder started at $17. Today, Snyder is, uh, the price of the stock is $20, $26 now. That's a $9 jump. That's like a 50% jump. So let's say if you had like uh, $10,000 on Snyder last year, right? If you put $10,000 on Snyder last year, now you, your money would have jumped like almost $5,000 by now. Because it's been going up. It's, it it went up like 50%. So that means your money would have went up 50%. 10000 that's 5000 Man, that's how this... See, I, I learned this a while back. They were saying how the rich get richer. They were showing how when the market crashed and when the markets kind of recorrect itself, like once Obama's second year in office, they were showing how all these rich people was making so much money. Because they were still putting money into the stock market when it was low. Once it started going up, they started making crazy money. And the common people missing out on it because we were afraid of it. We got to stop being afraid. We got to start learning how to get this money, people. All right, man, I'm out here, y'all. Hit me up.